Like music, like movies, 2020 Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards winner Swanky JKA has a similar message for Nigerian filmmakers as Nollywood continues its reemergence from the pandemic deep. Now, the actor whose role as Namdio KK in Ramsey Noir's Living in Bondi sequel believes if Nollywood filmmakers don't diversify in their storytelling, the industry might struggle to break the current glass ceiling. I snap your necks. When you take you give is the order of things. This is no f***ing game. Clock is ticking. Tick. Tuck. Tick. Tuck. What have you done? Nothing! Leave me alone! I really love seeing diversity. That's, that's the meal for the day, or the meal for the season. Diversity. Um, I'll give you a few examples. Uh, set up, um, Sule by Kairi Kasum. You know, almost 90% of the film in a bus. So it's time, as much as the Asians have exported their content out here and many people are consuming in larger numbers than they are consuming our content, I think it's time for us to diversify and make things that entraps different people. So if we keep making family dramas, we're going to only entrap people that love family dramas. There's people that want to see action. There are people that want to see fast cars. There are people that want to see the, the glamour girls of today. You know, there are people that want to see the, the crime comedies. So I think what the, the, the gap that needs to be plugged in my generation, for my generation, for our time, has to be diversity. So diversity is the real recipe for the meal we are looking to create or to make for the world to be able to take in. If you look at the top charts for the billboard, as of today when we, that we are speaking, it's five Nigerian songs that are topping worldwide. Five Nigerian songs. It's a miracle. So that's exactly the kind of uh, uh, miracle we are looking to, to recreate for Nollywood, to be able to do what Afrobeats is doing, basically. It's money. There's danger written all over this money now. Eh? Ah. Where the right danger for this money? Well, he also spoke about character diversity and typecasting issue in the industry while highlighting his character in Kayode Kasum's movie, Dwindle, as one of his most challenging in recent times. She may do my girl, honey. This is my friend! Hey! Stop this! Jesus Christ! There have been some roles that I've had to understudy people to be able to recreate, and I try my best not to look like the same actor from the last movie, which is generally what most Nigerian consumers love. They like their Jim Ike, Jim Ike. You know, they like their Ramsey, Ramsey. You know, which is not what my model of brand is. I, I have a different MO, to be honest. So, uh, so far, Dwindle, with uh, Kaede Kasum, uh, Funka Kindele, Brashagi was quite out of my comfort zone. Although I like to tell myself I'm a funny guy, but <laughs> having to play alongside a lot of real life funny people, that was a big deal. I had to do a lot of, and then I, I'm very, I'm very, there's something I do or something my body does when I watch an actor. I'm, I started acting, or I started to know I could act from being able to mimic my teachers in secondary school. So I find that it's quite easy for me to forget what my plan is and start to mimic what the person in front of me is doing. So that was also a lot of work, having to separate myself from that copycat nature of mine, yeah. So Dwindle was definitely a spot. Um, let me see, luckily unfortunate was also another one, having to lead it entirely, being a crime comedy was a big deal for me as well. Lights they always there at the end of the tunnel. I even buy them talk now. So calm down. Which 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 dirty lights? Which kind of low current lights need for this situation now?